Togekiss Latios, Kecleon, Magnezone, Garchomp, Rotom. Great team. I like BDSP more than Arceus, honestly, because I've been big on battling. Yeah, I love these battles, man. I think, first of all, Blissey is great for so many of these. I think we're going to lead with Blissey. Am I wrong? Am I wrong to just lead Blissey? Straight up. If I were to lead with, like, Rotom, and then they switch in Garchomp, I can go to Scizor. I guess that's not terrible. I'm going to lead with Blissey. I think it's a, I think Blissey is a great lead. So many of their mounts have ice weaknesses. There's three ice weaknesses and a fire weakness on their team. I think that we're just in a good spot to lead with Blissey. Am I wrong? Blissey is the best Pokemon ever created. So, like, we might as well just start fishing for the RNG early. But thank you so much. Also, no worries, mate. I've been working now, so you can... So you can make sick content. Yo, thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it, man. You get to five subs. That's so nice. Happy to hear you like the content. Hey, I've been making YouTube vids for the last couple weeks. As I got back into Pokemon, glad to finally catch you live. Yo, thank you so much for stopping by to catch me live. We're going to switch right into Garchomp here because I think there's some sort of physical attack coming or some sort of weird status attack coming. Um, maybe they rocks. I don't really care. Like, I don't care what a Kecleon does. Kecleon's amazing. I'd love to use one, but I don't really respect it. Fake out? Go nuts. That's why we switched this guy in. Rocked. Ro rough skin. Popping it off. Literally, we take those. I'm going to sub in your face, Chief. Subs up. Actually, do we want to sub? Our, do we respect the token switch in? If we respect the token switch in, we'll switch to Rotom. If we respect the token switch in, we'll switch to Rotom. I'll switch to Rotom. I respect I respect the token switch in. We'll switch to Rotom. And we'll uh, Hydro. What do you got, Chief? What do you got? Big Kecleon energy. Do you respect my sub? If you respect my ability to substitute, you will switch in to your Togekiss. What do you got? Confuse Ray? Like, I don't know what you're going to do. Yeah, you're going to switch in that Togekiss. Show me that. Show me that. There it is. Oh my gosh. It's like I play the game. Yo, it's almost like I play the game. Togekiss popping off. All right, do we just Hydro? Because if you switch in the Latio, switch in the Blissey, right? And if you're switching Garchomp here, I don't have that. I guess I could switch in my Scizor, but that's like not a great switch in. I'll go for the uh, Hydro. Because I'm like not afraid of a... I, you can't Thunder Wave. I don't care about a Dazzling Gleam. We take these. Hydro. Hydro! Show me that Garchomp. I'm going to two-shot you, bro. Latios. That's fine. We already talked about this. I'm going to switch in my Blissey, bro. Battle system is a little weird. In Arceus, some pokes will get two attacks in without using Agile Style. Did we just miss a Hydro? Literally never lucky. Yeah, I don't know how I don't know how any of the Arceus stuff works. Explosion Golem, wow. That sucks we miss that Hydra. I wanted to scout for uh like lefties. I really wanted to scout for lefties. Never lucky. Never lefties. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. Alright, Blissey's up. Psychic, never heard of it. Man, they really nerfed Latios by not giving it Psy Shock. Holy moly. That's a, that's a Specs slash Life Orb. We see the Life Orb right there. We're completely fine just going for Ice Beam here. Well, I don't care if you're switching your Rotom. If you're switching your Rotom, I'll actually switch away to probably my Rotom. But, like, I would love to just stand in Ice Beam, you chief. That's a what's up. Not much. Double hit moves don't actually attack anymore. I don't know anything about that in, like, the Legends of Arceus game. I just haven't really been playing it that much. I've been way more interested in playing like bdsp and like vdc series 12 but thank you guys for stopping by the stream hopefully you hopefully i can provide you guys a good evening entertainment let's go show me that garchomp show me that garchomp kecleon that's fine we'll just switch away switch right back into the garchomp same pin maybe with a 20 percent chance to freeze i'll take a freeze though huge specialty on kecleon by the way you inspired my first series 12 teams happy to hear i could help Lefties, never lucky. So, fake out Cuckland. Anytime you see the fake out mons, switch right back into your mons that stop that up. I'm going to switch in the Gliscor this time because I want my Toxicorp active. And then we're going to U-turn after we see what they do. Hopefully they don't have like an Ice Attack. I don't think Cuckland gets Ice Beam. Even if it does, it has like a 65 base special attack. I don't really care. Drain Punch. Not today you don't. Mm -mm. I mean, you do Drain Punch. I don't give a shit. And we're just going to U-turn out. So we're going to soak whatever damage they throw at us. And we're going to U-turn out into whatever pins, whatever they have. Kecleon's cool, though. Protein. Propane Kecleon. Arceus would be so much better if they would 
have kept the original stat and calc algorithms. Yeah, like whatever whatever algorithms are in there for like how damage is calculated is super weird on Arceus. I would agree. I'd agree. It's super weird. Like my level 20 Pokemon shouldn't be taking like half damage from a level 4 Pokemon. You inspired, sorry, you inspired me to start a Pokemon YouTube. So I'm going to make my first singles team in a bit. Yo, good luck. Happy to hear I can help. Happy to hear I can help. I do my absolute best. All right, what do I want to switch to? U-turns up. Rotom's not bad. Scizor's not bad. Azelf's sick. They're switching so much, and they don't have a defog user other than Tokus. I'm going to go for rocks. So we're going to rocks it up. We're going to threaten the pin, force them to switch to Magnezone, and switch to Garchomp on that. And I'm going to get my rocks up. They're switching so much. I wish there was just an element of multiplayer in Arceus. Yeah, so it's like... You can try your hardest to play Arceus as super serious as you want, but at the end of the day, it's like a vacuum. You're trapped inside, like a vacuum, and you can't ever connect with, like, other people. So, like, what's the point, you know? Show me the Volt Switch. Dark Pulse! Don't clock my Sash, bro. Almost. That sucks. That's a good play. We'll just switch into the Blissey. Um, but we got a Rock Set, which is great. So we're going to U-turn. If they want to go into Tokus, we can go into something the pins, like our Rotom. And anything that comes in is going to take rocks damage every single time. So rocks getting up there, it's good for us. This is a net win, getting rocks up. Lat, sorry, Latios, Togekiss, Rotom, Kecleon, Magnezone, Garchomp. Is Garchomp time? Is it? Let's see. You can't, you can't uh, spin away. Magnezone should get wrapped. By the way, I'm doing a mono Ghost Run in Arceus. Wow. What does he mean by say pin? When I say pin, I mean I get you in a position. To where any time, like let's say I were to send out Garchomp. If you didn't have that Togekiss, I'd be able to pin every single Pokemon that came out. Because that means a pin is where you can't safely switch in on something. Does that make sense? You can't safely switch in. I'm going to send the Gliscor, soak a Flash Cannon if they have to. And then uh, switch out of something else. Because you're taking, you're basically wasting your sturdy by doing this. And if you want to switch to Togekiss, I'll be able to pin that with Rotom or something. And I get my... Uh, Toxic Orb. So a pin here would be me using Earthquake to make it so the Latios, the Magnezone, the Kecleon, the Garchomp all take big Earthquake damage. That's a pinning on all those types. But unfortunately, they have a Rotom and a Tokus. So that means they're probably... Oh, shit! I clicked Earthquake. Oh, crap. I should have clicked uh, Should have clicked U-Turn. U-Turn was the play there. Um, the U-Turn is definitely the play there. I should have clicked that because they're probably switching to like any of those Levitate Mons to alleviate the pressure. Like, actually, if they switch into Togekiss here, it's going to be really hard for me to reapply my rocks. So you should switch into Togekiss here. The plan was to U-turn them and keep my pin while forcing them to take rocks damage. That's the whole point. The whole point is to make them take as much stealth damage, stealth rocks damage as possible. That's such a misplay. All right, Rotom, that's fine. They take rocks damage, though, regardless. And they're going to use Hydro Pump. We'll just switch to our Blissey. But um, they should have switched to Togekiss. What mod should I build my team around in my first singles team? Infernape's a really good one if you can get like a 5 or 6 IV Infernape. But still, misplay. Misplay. You know what? We can use this misplay to our advantage. Um, we can use this misplay to make them think that we're bad. Her Player's Cup might... Uh, sorry. Pokemon Company might Nuzlocke Arceus. I don't know what PC means then. <laughs> might Nuzlocke Arceus, but I don't see that being possible for fun. I don't know what that means. Rotom's up. That's right. Big Rotom energy. All right. So let's see. A lot of the monsters are still weak against ice. I don't care if they want to try and... If their Tokus switches on an ice beam, we'll be able to basically take out their Tokus with Stealth Rock damage plus ice beam on the switch after... And then they, they have to debug and then we ice beam again. So like, I don't mind ice beaming this Rotom. Like, I really don't. It doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, Volt Switch. Show me that Garchomp, bro. Show me Garchomp! Pokemon Challenges. I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that at all. Am I weird? Am I the odd man out? Let's see it. Let's also give out some notifications. Big Kecleon again. That's fine. I have no problem Kecleon coming in. Zero problem Kecleon. I get, I get a 20% chance freeze. We take those. F crit! No freeze though. I haven't gotten a freeze in a while, right? I haven't gotten a freeze in a hot minute. Haven't gotten a freeze in a hot minute. We're going to switch right back into the Gliscor. You can go for a double switch if you want. Into your Rotom, but I'll switch right back to the Blissey and then I'll soft boil. See, Kecleon doesn't get a recovery move, so I don't have to care. And if you want to Stealth Rocks me or something, I could just debug and then reapply it. 
Brox, how's it going, man? Yo, I love those emotes, man. I love those emotes. Those are lucky emotes? Man, lucky has some good emotes. Yeah, I've never actually seen any Nuzlocke content. I watched Wolf Glick do a Nuzlocke for like five minutes. And I was like, this is not my stuff. It's not my jam. But let's see what this Keklon does. We already showed Fake Out. You already showed Drain Punch. Let's see what they do. Nuzlocke just aren't my stuff, man. I like doing battles. I like like messing with real people. I like messing with real people. The double switch, which we predicted going to probably Rotom. There's the Rotom, obviously. Obviously. And we get to switch back to the Kecleon. Or sorry, switch back to our Blizzy. We're the ones that have rocks up. Like, this doesn't technically work. And then they're going to be able to Volt Switch and then come out with something that pins the Blissey. But in reality, they don't have a Pokemon that pins Blissey. They're going to they're gonna want to come in with Garchomp. That doesn't actually pin Blissey. Unless they're... Actually, were they Orbed? I don't remember. Either way, they don't really pin Blissey. Because we can always switch to Gliscor or something. So yeah, go for it. Go for your Volt Switch. I really... Go for your Volt Switch against my Ground type, by the way. Hydro. Yeah, that's right. Nice Hydro, bro. Nice Hydro. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Sopple this turn. Yeah, Lefty's Rotom just ain't it. Just hoping the Legends Arceus Mons will be eventually be able to transfer to Sword and Shield. And Ursa Luna TRT will be fun. I feel that like you'd be just as good using like a Rhyperior. I really feel that you'd be just as good using a Rhyperior. To be completely honest. You'd be just as good using Rhyperior. Do you prefer doubles in Sword and Shield and singles in ESP? I actually prefer singles in every single format. It's actually going to be my birthday tomorrow. It's my birthday tomorrow. We're going to be streaming tomorrow's YouTube video is a singles video i hope you guys like it and um i'm sure this video if we actually upload this battle will be on youtube far after my birthday but um yeah i like singles man singles is so much more fun i don't think singles is easier i don't think doubles is easier i think they just fit different skill sets and i played singles for about 10 years more than i played doubles so i just like singles more Happy birthday. Yo, thanks for the Hydro Pump. You guys hit like three or four Hydro Pumps on me and I've missed my only one. Literally never lucky right now. He's waiting to see what I do. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take the bait. He thought I might double switch. He thought I might go for a Hydro or something. Not gonna do it. Uh, at this point, we can just go for Hydro, or uh, for Ice Beam because like Ice Beam's good versus all the mods he could bring in. And he has to risk that Kecleon coming in and taking a freeze. Like that's, that's free. Literally, freeze. And every time you switch, you take... Stealth Rocks damage. So we take those all the way to the bank. Happy early birthday. This is the first time I'm tuning into a stream. I found you via your Trick Room YouTube video. I was really interested in it. What Trick Room team? What Trick Room team? I have used a lot of them. I actually have a really cool Trick Room team planned for BDSP that I haven't used yet. For doubles. But uh, thank you for watching my content. I stopped in front of YouTube vid to come here. Yo, that's a good vid. I wish more people watched it. That was such a good vid. I really hope pe more people watch those like showdown vids that I do where I break down my thought process behind each move. Each move. That's super important. Okay, on. That's fine. Do you think VGC has too much of a steamroll factor where singles is always a way to turn things around? I would agree. Singles, you always have options to turn things around. You do always have options. Give me a freeze. You always have options to turn things around in singles to an extent. You can cover up for weaknesses a lot easier. But that doesn't mean that like singles is easier. That just means you have more options. You know, in VGC, it rewards the player that uh, wants to steal victories a little bit easier. Be like, oh, I'm going to ally switch this turn. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for follow me or I'm not. Or I'm going to Dynamax or I'm going to not. Eh, I'm not a big fan. Versus like singles, you lose one of your mons to an accidental KO. It's not the end of the world at all. Pinky says, Hatterene Entity. Yo, I, lo I love me some Hatterene Entity. We're going to U-turn this turn. So remember, last time we sent this out, we conditioned them into being bad. We want them to send out their Togekiss. Show me your Togekiss. So you can go for a dis uh, sorry, Defog. Who do, who do you think is the best Ultra Beast in Sword and Shield? I really like Ferramosa. I'm a big fan of Ferramosa. Ferramosa is probably my favorite Ultra Beast. Um, I think Celesteel might be the best. Nihilego is also really good depending on the format, but I, I like Ferramosa personally. Oh, Dark. Yo, you changed to a Dark type. Go nuts, bro. Oh my goodness. Not in my house. I want to make a Trick Room team as well. There's a lot of mons that I like that are Trick Room team options, and I prefer making teams featuring Postman I like. Well, there you go. That's the way to play. You should play that way. Let's see. I got a KO. What do we want them to send out? I want them to send out Togekiss. 
if I were to send out Scizor, though, they'd send out the Magnezone. I can't stop that. So we don't want to do that. If we were to send out Garchomp, they'd get a free switch into their Togekiss. If I were to send out Blissey, which is what I keep going to, it forces them to send out... They don't have any options to really counter the Blissey at this point. So I'll send Blissey out. Cresselia Hatterene. Sorry, I'm going to read this uh, post. Cresselia Hatterene Comfe. Those, those are hard to use on the same team. You shouldn't use all of those in the same team. Those are hard to use. Because, like, you really only want two setters, to be honest, and then, like, one redirection mon, and, like, three to four sweepers, and then one mon that's, like, an enigma that functions outside of Trick Room Speed tier, like a Venusaur with a Torkoal, to, you know, force your opponent to respect your speed control. So they don't have... So that way you can go, like, Venu Cole if you have to, in case they just want to loop with something that abuses your Trick Room. It's really, really important. Speaking about really important, I'm going to Ice Boom this Garchomp. It's really important. Nice Sword Stance, bro. Never even heard of it. Just smog on Discord doesn't like that. I mean, just smog on Discord's weird. I Yachi Berry. Oh my goodness, the Yachi. That's fine. It's fine. Um, do we think they're gonna go for a Dragon Claw or an EQ? Cause like I can kill that thing with uh, Psychic at this point. Totally can. I don't really want to fodder this Blissey though. It's still really important. So who do we want to fodder? Gliscor is not important. We can switch in the Gliscor. Ooh, we can switch in like so many things. I don't mind switching in my Rotom at this point, actually. Because if you go for a Dragon Claw, like, I don't care. I'll switch in, I'll switch in, um, Azelf. Speaking of TR teams, um, is Bronzong still viable? Bronzong's actually one of the best TR setters in any format that it's ever existed in. The little situation it creates where you have to respect both Heatproof and Levitate is super, super important. So I would say Bronzong's absolutely amazing. Outrage. Good play. That's the right play. Ooh, did we just win? Did we just win the game? Maybe. Because, like, we can send out Scizor and just, like, SD baby up in this place. Let's go, SD baby! I'm doing it. Nice outrage, bro. SD baby! Ah. Holy moly, that does a lot. Alright, that shouldn't do enough to two-shot us, right? I want them to be confused, but they didn't get confused there. Because I want two sword dances. I have to bullet punch. That sucks. Alright, well, that's fine. I have a full life. Bullet punch, baby, let's go! I wish they got confused there. I would have clicked roost. Oh well. I would have clicked roost if they swords danced. Sorry, not that they swords danced. If they uh, had a uh, confusion there. What are the thoughts on Jenning? I don't do that stuff, man. That's not me. That ain't me. Thoughts on Gengar being suspect tested and not Latios. I think Latios should be banned. I really do just think it should be banned because it invalidates like so many mons. The meta would just be a different meta if Latios wasn't legal. Personally. It'd be a more fun game. Maybe they should just ban Latios because it'd make the game more fun. But, um, I guess, um, like Gengar is still really good. I don't think it's good enough to be banned, but it's still really, really good. This is not going to do any damage at all. So, like, let's just click x Scizor, but it won't do that much at all. Yeah, T-Bolt. We, we're stuck in their Magnet Pull. Alright, we didn't lose on time. Is Jenning, like, actually illegal? Yes, you will go to jail. Alright, let's see. We do this, and then we get to we get to repin. We're running out of mons that can hit the Togekiss. I'm fine with this. I'm just gonna click flamethrower. Flamethrower into ice beam would be enough. Cause like you only have four mons. I only have four I only have four mons, but my mons are good. And what are your four? You have Magnezone, Latios, Garchomp's down. I'll click flamethrower, it's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with this. Yeah, show me that show me that token, I don't care. In tournaments, you're not allowed you're technically not allowed to do it. Technically you're not allowed to do it. Can I get a burn? Can I get a sir? Can I get like, at least like one Serene Grace pop, please? Please give me my Serene Grace pop, please, please, let me do it. Serene Grace, please. Never lucky, ever, ever, ever lucky. Do I have to care about this Rotom though? Like I can just kill it with all, you only have special attackers left. You'll never break me, ever, ever, bro. We're gonna do Hydro Pump, Volt Switch. I don't think so. 
Thoughts on those stream bots that can genuinely mine you want? I mean, if you want to, go nuts, you know? But, like, I just don't I don't think that's the play, you know? Oh, never lucky, Mr. Thunder. Battle end in 60 seconds. What do you think of Dusknoir? I love Dusknoir. Such a cool Pokemon. I love Dusknoir. We should win this game on time, actually. There's not that much they can do. I think we'll win on time. I don't think we have too many mods that are low. Let me hit this. Let's go! Thunder! Holy moly, that's such good damage. Back in, actually, the Gem 4 days, you used to be able to paralyze Rotom because it wasn't an electric type. It was like a... Sorry, it was an electric type. It was electric ghost, and you could paralyze electric types back in the day. Yo, Artificer dropping the big sub. Appreciate it. My favorite BDS PTR is Crest, Hariyama, Slowbro, Hippo. Yo, love the Hippo. Maybe we will lose. Maybe we are low. Let's go for another Thunder. Let's just do it. Are they going to wait out time? Are they going to try and time me because my scissor is low? SMH, man. They can have it if they want it. They can have it if they want it. Who wins? I win because I got Blissey, bro. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. Chase? More like Chase these L's. Is today just Kecleon day? Is today just Kecleon day? Wow. So many Kecleons. Alexam's going to be a problem let's see scissor is good here if we can deal with the rotom okay how do we deal with this we want to deal with something that like low-key checks the rotom i think they're gonna lead rotom i'm gonna lead with my rotom because like they wouldn't want to will with me if they do that's fine and we're in a good lead versus them and if they lead like Cloyster, we can stop them from shell smashing. I don't I don't care if they we hit Powdon. So many I fought like three Kecleons today, it feels like. It feels like I fought like three Kecleons today. This is a cool team though. Rotom lead. Yeah, I knew they're gonna lead it. It's obviously that's their only lead. Um I'm gonna volt switch because I don't care if they want to come in with hip on like at all. Should I do I even need to volt switch? I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. Like, I'll just two shot you. And I'll scout for lefties. So it went up for me. This is a winning position for me. I can be super patient in this situation. And scout to see what type of Rotom you are. Are you a Scarf Rotom? Are you a will o Rotom? Are you like a lefties sub Rotom? Like I don't really care Rotom. If I do like 40% to you, you also can't switch in on my Garchomp anymore. So show me what kind of Rotom you are. That's right, you're hard switching. Show me the hip out on. Yeah, go for it, Chief. That's a free win for me. I mean, it's a good situation. I just switch right into Gliscor. I don't care if you have Ice Fang. Do not care. We take Rock Stain. Or, sorry, Sand Fang, but that's fine. We can even go into Gliscor, but I'd like to get Rocks up soon. And we're going to Gliscor just because we need to preempt them using Rocks. We need to debug. We're just going to wait out their Sandstorm turns here. If they, have, if they have Ice Fang, I don't care. Like, I don't care about Ice Fang, like, at all. Your special attackers are super low on this team. You can switch in your Skarm. Not Skarm, um, your Cloyster, but you're going to take uh, Sandstorm damage. So that's fine. What do you got, Chief? I can defog away those rocks all day. I do not care about Ice Fang. I probably should. It just doesn't do that much. Roar, go for it. Hey, that's, a, that's an Enigma. It makes RNG happen. Cool. We take those. Who wants to take this? Oh, SD. Force you to roar again. Just waste your roar waste your sandstorm turns. You can stealth rocks me if you want. We SD we SD boys! Stealth rock, nice! You're gonna take a you're gonna take a big extra and if I and if I crit it, you lose your hip out on. Yeet! That's a lot of damage on the boy. Don't bring in a Sashmon. Oh, my one Sashmon. Never lucky. Never, ever lucky, bro. That sucks. It's fine. We can Psychic here. Psychic should actually just KO this thing. Psychic's great versus like all of their mons, actually. So we're just Psychic up. We don't even need to Roar. Sorry, we don't need to Stealth Rock because we're going we're gonna to Defog eventually. Can't believe we brought in my one Sash mod. Literally never lucky. Any other mod would have been great. 
But let's see what they want to do. They still have a Zam that's fast. You switch it. Who are you preserving this for? Who's taking the Psychic? Kecleon. Go nuts. Yeah. I don't think Kecleon gets a fire attack. I, I don't think that it does. Sped death drop. I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight. We stay fighting right now. What are you going to do? Shadow Sneak? I think I just KO you still. I think you've gone after that sped up drop. Keckley gone! No, I'm saying, no, I'm saying, let's go! Sped death? Sped death? Deleted. <laughs> nice normal type, bro. Flamethrower? Does it get flamethrower? We don't even care anymore. Literally don't even care anymore. You bring your Alakazam. Do I care? If you bring out Alakazam, we'll see how I want to play this. Clock. All right. If you Nasty Pot on my Switch and I switch to Blissey, I might lose. But this thing's so good for the rest of your Mons. It gets Fake Out. Fake Out doesn't do anything to Rotom. This is such a bad play. Sucker Punch wouldn't KO an Azul. He could have, though. Hit energy. Oh, the reeds! Fuck that guy, man. Fuck this guy. Holy shit. He really did it. This guy really just went and did it, didn't he? Oh my god. That guy's nuts. He really just energy balled me on my Azul slot. I could have just used use your turn. I could have just used your turn. That hurts, man. That hurts. Why are you staying in? Are you spexed? Oh, you're spexed. Okay. That's why. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> Have fun watching Attack on Titan. I hope we don't kill my Garchomp. They will. They will kill my Garchomp here, I think. Don't kill, my bro. don't kill me, bro. Don't do it. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it. Leave me alone. Leave me be. Leave me be. 14 HP, baby! I know I know you're spexed. Yeah, you you ain't just you ain't just chilling at like that damage level. Whew. That's scary though, man. You can come with Coyster or force the ice shard. I'll let you I'll I'll force you to do it. I'll let you do it. That's fine with me. Good play. Alright, let's see what they got. Powdown can't hang here. Gliscor can't really hang here. Rotom ha would have to be Scarfed. Leftovers value. That's right, yo. All right, this lets this makes you forced to hit a Hydro. And even if you do, like I can send in my Blissey after or like something else after and be in a good spot. So like, we stay Dragon Calling, forcing you to be Scarfed. If you're not Scarfed, you're dead. And if you are Scarfed, you have to hit an 80 base power move. Or a Will Wisp in the 85. So show me what you show me what you got. Show me what you got! That's right, you be missing! You can stay missing. Respect my authority! Oh my goodness! Give me those leftovers! Whew. I, if you have Ice Shard, bro, you just spotted your Rotom for no reason. You gotta send that Cloister out sooner or later. Gotta do it sooner or later! Bruh! The Avoid! We take those. Nice Cloister, bro. Hey, you, you see that nice cloister, bro? I'm not gonna let you just shell smash in my face. You can ice shard me. You can totally ice shard. Right, you're gonna shell smash? I have a scissor. So it's like, have go nuts. Go nuts. Shell smash? Never heard of it. Alright, there's no reason to switch in my scissor, right? Right? There's no reason to like switch it in. Because you can use like a weird ass water attack. I think it's just fine to fodder the guard chomp. If we switch in the Scizor, we might lose the Scizor to like five crits in a row. That's not good. So we just might as well just stay in. Dragon Call in case they want to switch in Gliscor or something. Yeah, it's fine. That's, I have no problem with that. You had the Ice Shard, bro! Bro, you had it. Just use it. You could have saved your Rotom. And then you could have saved... You could have sent out that Ro... You could have sent out that Cloyster. Saved your Rotom and then switched to the Rotom when I sent out my Scizor. That's your fault. That's that's on you. That's not on me. I didn't do anything wrong here. I'm BP this one all the way to the bank. What would you think was going to happen? Not a priority move? 
Not in my house. We take those. All the way to the bank, man. Literally undefeated out here. It's so much harder to play these games live, too. I have so many other things to look at. The camera, the chat, the game, the Hippowdon. He can use Roar if it wants. I don't really care. You gonna Roar? Go nuts. Go to Earthquake? Go nuts. What are you gonna do? Fire Fang? Don't you do that. You're gonna Slack Off? Protect? Nah, Cloyster would Protect wouldn't do anything. Slack Off. Nice. I'm gonna crit you this turn. You are at my mercy right now. We're at the exact same situation here. The exact same situation. I have a full team of monsters just come in and dumpster you. I'll take a leftovers tick while we're young, too. Exizor. You're basically at a point where, like, I can just let all my other moms die, bring in the scissor, set it versus the Hippowdon, and win the game. About to be Hippowdon, no, I'm saying, no, I'm saying. What you got, Chief? Azelf again. Yo, this Azelf, man. <laughs> oh, man. Sucks to be this Azelf. Keeps coming in for a I mean, it's kind of cool, right? It's kind of okay. You have like two months left. I think one of them's like a Zam or something. Two months left? Yeah, I'm just gonna click the Psychic. Big Deeps. Your pal done. Whew. Azelf. Chill. Yeah, you can sock up all you want. You're just gonna waste your Sandstorm turns. And uh, I'm gonna crit eventually or we're gonna spaff drop. Actually, I think that's more damage because you don't have lefties. You're a Heat Rock or, or sorry, uh, whatever rock, right? Even though Fangs have two possible options i'm not a fan of them unless the only coverage is paired with fang's ability i agree you know they just don't do enough options they don't do enough damage with like like a super effective like fire fang doesn't do as much damage as like an earthquake same thing for ice fang smooth rock that's what it is i'll take these wins almost that's the spit up drop show me that sock off though show it to me roar okay go nuts chief that's all you you dead basically yeah you dead I can kill you with literally almost anything I feel like. I decide who lives and dies. And I've chosen Hippowdon to be Hippowdon. Feels great being undefeated. You know, every once in a while, like, I worry about, like, streaming games. Because I always play so much worse when I'm streaming. I do. I play worse when I'm streaming. Um, case in point, look at this right here. They're bringing their score on my, uh, on my Earthquake. Great point. Great, great play. There's nothing wrong with this, by the way. We don't care what they do with this Gliss score at all. Because we're going to be slower than them. But, um... I was worried about streaming games. Because, like, people are like, Oh, actually, that's it just sucks. <laughs> and I do. I suck. I'm terrible. You can U-turn me all you want. And you, you're never going to win. I got an Earthquake there, too. <sighs> that was a sick Earthquake. on what you're thinking about chief i love gliscor being slower than other gliscors we can literally use gliscor to like pin their gliscor it's such a good tech even if you're bright powder hit powder <laughs> we're still gonna win <laughs> now, let's see it it is lefty so it's not smooth rock i think eq takes that from here though yeah let's see it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna eq if they switch a gliscor will you turn that turn and then we'll bring in our as and just get a double tap on everything in the game Battles canceled. They knew. Good player knows. We take those all the way to the bank. Oh my goodness. We use Scizor in a bunch of these games today. Look at that. They have Latios. That's a legendary, guys. There's a legendary on their team. Um, And they have Blissey. So if we can take out their Dom fan, they really get limited on their Defog users and we can abuse them with rocks. So we want to do our very best to like pin their Dom fan as many times as possible. We can also do a situation where we set up our rocks and then get set up with Scizor. So Scizor just comes out and like wins the game. So that's also an option. Rotom's not a terrible option. Um, I think I'm gonna lead Azelf though. Actually, I'm gonna lead, I'm gonna lead Blissey. Like, lead with your Dom fan, bro. Set your rocks, Chief. You have like four mons weak to ice. I will ice beam you, turn one. And if you wanna lead with your Dom, your Rotom, I'll just switch. Cool. Yo, Latios from Wonder Trade, wow. Super OU teams are annoying. Nobody uses non OU mons, just same 10 mons. That's what OU is, though. Thoughts on Honchkrow? Honchkrow's alright. Am I gonna get choice item locked? Are you gonna, like, trick me? I don't care if you trick me, by the way. I, I actually don't care. Like, please 
please trick your Choice Scarf onto me. Please Volt Switch into your Garchomp. That'd make me super happy. Trick, go nuts. That's the correct play. I have absolutely no problem with, like, Choice Scarf. Oh, you gave me a Specs. You've chosen incorrectly. I'm about to choose Violence right now. I'm about to just choose the Violence. The Violence has been chosen. Right? I actually might do more damage to you. <laughs> and I'm going to freeze you eventually. I only have 10 of these, though. Are you gonna, you're going to go for a Water Attack. I'll go for one Ice Beam while you Hydro. In case you want to Volt Switch. Just in case you Volt Switch. Because your whole team is like weak against it. Yeah, go nuts. I love a freeze, by the way. Never lucky. Alright, so you're going to Willow Wisp me. Who do I want to get Wisped? Probably my Rotom. Great play, though, by them going for Trick Turn 1. That's super ballsy. If I would have just switched in and you gave a, a Choice Specs to like, the wrong Mon, that could have been a loss. But saving this Blissey for the most part is okay. Full switch. Wow! What if I just stayed in? Well, you have absolutely no switch-ins on this at all. You have zero switch-ins for this. Are you going to switch in your Blissey? I will totally trick your Blissey. I'll totally do it. Sorry, one second. I'll trick your Blissey, bro. Same thing. Same thing. You know what? You don't see my leftovers. You know I'm about to be using Trick. It's Trick time, boys. And I'm giving you a scarf. You can go speed. Speedy boy. You can get rocks up here. Um, can't deal with rocks very well with this team. I have a defog user, but yeah, we'll see. I wonder if this is bait to get me to use trick. It might be. Yeah, they're, I think they might actually be sniping, but we'll see. I really don't care, to be honest. I'm on a YouTube video. Yo, you might be. They're probably going to switch right into Blissey here. We'll see. What's up? Not much. Just playing some games. Hydro. We take those. Big deeps. Take that scarf, though. Obviously, sash it up. If we can take this thing out, like, we unlock the ability to just be an absolutely massive blue with our own rocks. And we'll just be able to uh, rapid spin those away. Or, sorry, debug those away in a minute. I do not care if they want to come with any of their dragons. We can switch right into Scizor for the most part. Like, I'll take... I think I took a choice... I or, sorry, I think I took lefties, right? I'll take lefties. Those are great. Let me hit. Let's go. You're within range for Thunderbolt, potentially. Ah, not after Thunderbolt. I'm sorry, not after that, but it's fine. What did I take? I didn't see what item I took, chat. Did you guys see what item I took? I want Thunderbolt. It's fine. I kind of want to take with our item. Oh, we take those. Get out of here, Rotom. Who's coming in? Dragon type? Citrus. Awesome. Thank you. Citrus Domfan, huh? Unique. I'd rather have had the leftovers. I would have gotten three ticks out of it. Can't tell if my screen is. What do you mean? You can totally cook an outrage. That's fine. I'll just come with Blissey. I'm going to Dragon Dance, so that's all right. E Speed won't kill me. I'll just clock my Citrus. Cool. We just want to go for our Defog right now. I think it's better to go for the defog. Let me think about this. It is. It's better to go for the defog. We can always hit that Rotom with whatever we feel like later. So we go for a defog, then a U turn. We get a free uh, proc of our Toxicorp too. Which side of your game screen would you look at both? So my game screen's over here. It's over in this direction. I'm not looking at it right now. So like my. Uh, my chat is over here, right? So this is where I look at over here. My camera's up here and my game screen's over here. So being a streamer is still super hard because you have to look at like multiple things at once. We'll go for the defog. You can DD dance in my face, I don't really care. You can come with the dump fan, I really don't care. Salmons is fine. Why are you not set up? He didn't have a chance. I'd be able to punish it. 
I would have went right to Blissey. I Volt switched, so I would have went into Blissey. But I look at everything for the most part. So Vaithness is dropped. I I think we're just going to U-turn. If they Dragon Answer, I think we'll be fine. We're at full health. Show me that D-Dance or not. How long have you been playing Pokemon? Since Gen 1. Since Gen 1. And I've, been, I've had a YouTube channel for about almost 13 years. I've had Twitch since basically it started. Oh, Hydro Sally. Okay. Hey, go nuts, Chief. Hydro Sally, huh? All right. What do you have to switch in on Hydro Sally? Live Orb Hydro Sally. All right. That's a good set. Um, there's nothing really wrong with me bringing in my Garchomp, though, I don't think. If you're orbed, because I'm going to be faster. Great set. Wow. You don't see that very frequently. You really don't see Hydro Sally all that often. That's definitely a 2014-esque set. My stream setup. What do you mean? Oh, you're talking about how cool my stream setup is. Yeah, we've been around the block. <laughs> yeah, let's see it. You have so many dragons. You have triple dragon. With, and, I, and I have rocks up. Or, so I don't have rocks up anymore. Because um, I had to get rid of yours, right? That's fine. Yeah, you, you have to switch anyways, so. You don't have any fairies, so this is a free switch. Dumpan's gonna be a foddered. You're gonna come in with something. I've no probably the Latios, and I'll switch in my Blissey. And then I'll just click the Ice Beam. Have you made a Sceptile team of BDSP? I have not made a Sceptile team of BDSP yet. I have definitely not made that yet. There's a Sally. Like, bro, why why even think about that again? Intimidate? Okay. Hey, not, not bad. Are you gonna be you're gonna be Dragon Pulse though? You're gonna be dragging like you're a special attacker, so like. I could still use Garchomp. I think that like there's nothing wrong with Blissey though. Blissey's fine. Second Dom fan. It's not risky, that's a good play. Yo, Yamper, how's it going? How goes it? Oh man, how many people are playing BDSP right now? I'm actually just gonna check. Like, I feel like everyone's streaming that Arceus game. We're, like, probably in, like, a top... Yeah, we're in the top eight streams of, like, BDSP just streaming, like, random battles. Oh, that's funny. All right, Blissey, what you got, Chief? Show me the... Show me the flamethrower. They thought I was switching in Scizor, not today. Cool. Yeah, I don't care. Awesome. You took more damage than me. And it's Ice Beam time. You can switch in your road time. I don't give a shit. I'll switch right away. Like, I don't even know if I really care about Rotom. I actually probably should just click Thunder. Maybe next time I set up this pin, I'll use Thunder. Blissey! Oh, man. They woke up to his violence, huh? I'll just switch right to... Uh, what is that? Blisscore. I'd love a free Serene Grace! Show me that. Never lucky. Never lucky, man. I'm right up there with Wolfie and Zang in terms of skill. Ah, uh, the thing is, like, I would say... I would say I appreciate you, first of all. I would say I appreciate you... Oh, Ghost War's dead. Do you think they're a Flamethrower Blissey or like an Ice Beam Blissey? We'll see. Um, I don't know, man. I think those guys are way better than people give them credit for. I would say I can take games off them in like a a tournament, right? There are a special attack of Blissey. Oof, it's going to be scary. All right, all right. So they have the Ice Beam. That's going to be scary. I don't necessarily need my Garchomp, though. That's fine. I'm actually just going to go by to my Blissey. And we'll just trade. I don't want to deal with that. I want to scout for Ice Beam. I know you get a freeze. Could Reunicus or Togekiss work on a Trick Room team? They could, yeah. Really, they switched. They maybe no Ice Beam. All right. I could have just literally cooked Dragon Claw there. So it's good to know for next time. That means they don't have Ice Beam. They have Thunder, but no Ice Beam. Okay. Uh, I do not care about clicking this Ice Beam. I would love to freeze your Blissey. I'd love that. We take those. And you're gonna freeze your Rotom, freeze your Dragonite, freeze your Latios. That's a, that's a win up for me. I'm a, I'm a freeze your Blissey, bro. I'm gonna switch. Dragonite, not today. Yeet, delete, repeat. Force you to make those misplays for days. We take those. You're running out of physical attackers. Actually, you're out of physical attackers, so we take those. But yeah, Wolf is like really really good zang's really really good a lot of people don't really respect how good they are you should make a video ranking the most used mons and singles i mean eh, anyone can just look at like ou stats and find that stuff out for themselves though i don't need to make a video doing it 
Why would he switch into Dragonite? The reason he switched into Dragonite is because we've played about 30 turns, and we forced him to do that by not really letting him get an in into fighting us, right? We forced him to get flustered and not realize what else he had to do to win. So what he doesn't realize, he could probably go just go to that Blissey and be fine. How's it this evening? It's flawless, yo. And so right now he's just literally foddering all his mons because he doesn't understand else how else to win, which we take those. This guy's a super good, like, legendary team, and we're gonna dumpster him because he doesn't... He He's never been pushed to the wall, right? And so we're able to take advantage of that. And we got choice specs on it. <laughs> That's right, we got the big choice specs on it. I'm not gonna switch here either. I'll switch eventually, and then I'll bring him back out and stop and switch again. Ice Beam. You do have Ice Beam. Okay. Nice Ice Beam, bro. I'll show you how real man uses Ice Beam. Copy my blissy. See what happens, bro. I'm going to freeze you eventually. I'm going to do it. Don't act like I'm not going to do it. You have... So we took out your Dragonite. We took out your Latios. Um, I think you still have Sally. But, like, Sally can't switch in on... Yeah, you, you just have Sally and Blissey. So, like, we can just chill in here on this Blissey for at least three more turns. Thunder. Nice miss, bro. Give me my freeze. We should switch the Gliscor this turn. I don't care if you Ice Beam me. Oh, I see. Shoot, Gliscor's dead. Um, we'll switch into the Scissor then. Switch, switch into the Rotom. Yeah, Rotom's fine. Rotom's good versus both of those, like Ice Beam and Thunder. It can probably live versus both. And we just want to be able to switch back into our Blissey Usapo and then switch back out. So we're just chilling. Just chilling here. We actually don't have to threaten anything because they are going to get timed out eventually. We can even take their leftovers if we felt like it. But they're going to thunder this turn. Right? You're going to thunder this turn? I can even come with this Garchomp. I can come with this Garchomp right now. Don't have to. Hi, bro. Greetings from Spain. How can I challenge you? We're just doing random battles. We're not doing any viewer battles tonight. We're just doing random battles. Jolly Defiant Perugly is hands down my favorite mon to use in BSP. Great choice, man. Great choice. Stop blue. And then we'll switch away back to Rotom. And I'll trick away and take their item. Yeah, we don't have to take any risks. Like, at all. I mean, you can freeze me, you freeze me, but, like, you're only gonna... You're gonna run out of Ice Beams eventually. There's the freeze! We take those. We can just chill here. We can actually just chill here. You'd waste your PP trying to break this blissey. Ah. Mm. Doesn't it just feel good? I don't even need to like PP stall them. I don't even need a timer stall them. I can just kind of chill. What are you switching your salmons to take life orb damage? Like go nuts, bro. Go nuts thundering my blissey. Spud May, how's it going? Big chilling out here. Yeah, hey, go go nuts. Whew. All right, let's think about this, though. Let's realistically think about this. They probably do have, like, Flamethrower on that thing as the last move. And, and like, five or six Thunders would KO us. We want them to PP out their um, Ice Beams, to be honest. Those do, like, 37 HP. So we can look through, like, four more. Freeze is rare, but so broken. Freeze is broken, I agree. Can it thaw eventually? No, nah, it's freeze was like completely random. I think it was like a 25% chance to freeze to, to, to thaw. Sorry. The fact that they've hit us with like four thunders in a row is like actually just nuts. We could switch in our Garchomp at any time, but like I don't think we should. If we ever if we thaw though we win. Though if we ever thaw we win. The fact they're switching is also fine. Cause then we just repunish that with our Garchomp, so we win. Cool. Yeah, I don't care about your salamence, bro. Not even a little bit. Actually, I don't think about that. Do I care? Do you have Dragon Dance on this thing? I'll switch in Rotom in case you have Dragon Dance. No, I, I was upset. Sash, it's fine. We're fine. We're fine. You can Dragon Dance me all you want, Chief. I don't care. Don't care. Yeah, go for it. Draco. Nice. I care what ability you run Electrode. All of its abilities are actually good. You don't need to run anything weird. You do not need to run anything weird on Electrode at all. I, I hope Game Freak replaced the Frozen mechanic. No, no, it's fine. It's fine the way it is. It doesn't need to get replaced. Garchomp, baby! Let's go! Yeah, 
There's no way this guy wins at all. You can switch in that Garchomp. You can switch in the, uh, what is it? Blissey all you want. Blissey. Whew, look at that damage, though. Oh, my God. Static works. That is, that is great. Draco's not even weird. This should KO still. Yeet. Don't even need an EQ. Don't even need to do it. Don't even need to do it. That's what you get for using Modest Blissey, bro. Just letting you know. Just letting you know that's what you get for using Modest Blissey. It's not bold. I can tell. And then we just switch. Do we even have to switch? We don't even have to switch. Don't even have to switch. Dragon Claw. I pray they don't switch the turn system now they're using Arceus. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll take those. Big crit. I take those. All the way to the bank. All the way to the bank. Dakota, see, I told you guys. Good players, man. Good players. Respect the Blissey. You can tell our team has like an above average amount of like physical mons as well as like special mons that can like low key deal with the Blissey. It's like, we'll see how they want to deal with this. Uh, there's something wrong with us leading. Like, yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with us leading Rotom because we can just hard switch into Gliss sorry, Scizor. And Scizor gives a big pin versus a lot of those. I don't really mind leading Azelf either, but I kind of want to save the Azelf. Actually, I'm going to lead Azelf. Because I can just U-turn versus most of those. And I can rocks in like a good matchup or two-shot the Garchomp if I have to. So I'm going to lead Azelf. Because like that team doesn't have a Defog user. It has a Spinner. Don't know if the Starmie spin. We'll see. I'd force the Starmie to spin. Metaros, awesome. Um, I'm just gonna U-turn. I'm gonna U-turn to scout for lefties and go to my Scizor, cause like Metagross can't beat Scizor and I can just set up against it. I don't need rocks, don't need to. Metagross is a good mon, but uh, Scizor is better. It'd actually be tech for them to like bullet punch there. What? Bright Powder, they're cheating! You're cheating me! Oh my God, you're literally cheating me out here. You're literally cheating me. I don't need to U-turn to scout for freaking leftovers because they're freaking bright powder. Yo, good luck. Am I playing against you? You're cheating? You're literally cheating me right now. That is a in that is an illegal item choice if that's you that I'm playing against. Freaking that's the worst thing of my life let's see it rocks damage meteor mash all right i missed two i'm not bright powder though you can't lower their evasiveness but you can lower uh everything <laughs> you can't you can't get rid of the rocks bright powder gross don't care right Am I playing against you? Did you snipe me? Don't snipe me. Bro, don't snipe me like that. Don't snipe me. Just play the game. Turn the stream off. What's wrong with Bright Powder? It's just, it creates a randomness in the game. It creates RNG in a situation where the game shouldn't have it. I can eat the Ice Beam. Should I eat the Ice Beam? Do I care? I don't need to, like, U-turn here. It's fine. Let's we'll see what they have. I didn't snipe. You're literally in the stream, though. Like, you're looking at what I'm clicking. Like, if, if I'm playing... If that's you I'm playing against, you're literally looking at what I'm doing. Let's see. We'll see. Ice Beam. Awesome. So it's special talk of see. I watched one of your gods eat earlier today. What do you mean by the four EVs matter in your Series 12 guide? The four EVs that you get in a 252 slash 252, it's always better to put your four EVs wherever you can. If you can. Let's see, do I want to... I don't mind. See, like, I like half... See, this is the thing. This person's literally in the chat. If I were to click Trick and use Trick against their Blissey, 
that's not good, right? Because they'll be able to anticipate that and switch something that would be able to abuse the choice card. That's not good. If I were to click Volt Switch, they'll switch in the Garchomp, then I'm stuck, and then I have to switch because I'm Scarfed, and then they uh, get a free um, Garchomp sub, which I don't want. And obviously, they're someone that uses my sets because they're using Ice Beam Blissey, right? So they know the Garchomp's sub Garchomp's good. If I Hydro and they just stay in, that's a net loss for me because they leftovers more help, you know? I'm going to Hydro. Awesome. Show me that Garchomp, bro. Yeah, that's right. Yep. We take those. Good thing I took the time to talk. That's a lot of health. Are you leftovers or not leftovers? All right, I don't care about I don't care about Scarf Chomp. If you switch a Water type, I don't care either. Cuz like I'll I'll switch my Blissey. Both my uh, my Blissey balls balls both your Water types. Vader says go on. Hydro, let's go. Goodbye. All right, what's coming in next? Who pins my Rotom? You know that I'm Scarfed because I outsped your Garchomp. So Starmie, I'll switch to Blissey. Gyarados, yeah, Gyarados, awesome. Um, they're gonna dance. See that girl. Ba -da -da, ba -da 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 -da. If you Dragon Dance, I can just uh, Thunderbolt you. What's up, Philip? Haven't been here in a while. Thank you for stopping by. They just scooped it up. We take those. 